Chapter 9 Pricing Strategies and Program What is the definition of price? Price is the perceived value of a good or service. Perceived value is usually expressed in monetary terms, so price is the money exchange for the goods or service. In a simple word, price is what you pay to get the goods or service. There are six steps in setting price. The first one is identifying pricing objectives and constraints. The pricing objective is depends on the company. The examples of pricing objective is to increasing or maximizing profit, to increase sales revenue, pursuing market share, increasing unit volume, company survival, and social responsibility. While the pricing constraint example is like demand for product class, product or brand, newness of the product, which means stage in the product life cycles, cost of producing and marketing the product, and also the type of competitive market. Second is estimating demand and revenue. The basic to setting a product price is the extent of a customer demand for it. This is where the marketing executives must also translate these estimates of customer demand into estimates of revenues the firm expects to receive. Third is determining cost, volume, and profit relationship. While revenues are the money received by the firm from selling its products or services to customers, costs or expenses are the money the firm pays out to its employees and suppliers. As example is total cost, fixed cost, variable cost, unit variable cost, marginal cost and break even analysis. Fourth is selecting an appropriate price level. This is to use as a reasonable starting point. There are four common approach are demand oriented approach which is skimming and penetration pricing, cost oriented, profit oriented and competition oriented approach. Next is setting the list or quote price. A seller must decide whether to follow either two. The first one is one price or known as fixed pricing for all buyers of a product or services. And the another one is flexible price. Policy depends on individual buyer and purchase situation. Lastly is making special adjustment to the list or quote price. There are three adjustments that could be involved. The first one is discount. The examples are quantity discount, seasonal discounts, trade discounts, and cash discounts. Secondly, allowance. The examples are trade in allowance and promotional allowance. Thirdly, geographical adjustment, which involve FOB origin pricing and delivered pricing. There are two types of pricing strategies for new products. The first one is market skimming. What is market skimming? Market skimming involves prices that start high and are slowly lowered over time to maximize profit from less price sensitive consumer. The product must be of high quality. Cost of producing the small volume must not be too high. High price does not easily attract new competitors into the market. The next type of pricing strategies for new products is market penetrations. It is involved prices that start low to drive highest sales volume from price sensitive consumers. The market must be highly price sensitive. As sales volume increases, both product and distribution costs must fall as to attain economies of scale. The low price must not attract new competitors into the market. In a simple word, skimming price is used when a product which is new in the market is sold at a relatively high price because of its uniqueness, benefits and features. However, slowly but surely when the product gets older in the market, then the price is dropped. Example product of market skimming is Apple iPhone. iPhone 13 has been launched in the market. Before that, iPhone 12 was launched. Both these phones sold in large quantities and at a very high price. In fact, after long debates and reviews regarding the quality and the increased price of the phones, people decided to wait until they will be able to buy the iPhone 13. Meanwhile, 
The example for market penetration is In India, Dell use penetration pricing strategies because Indian markets are highly affected by price. It increased sales as compared to HP, Sony and other competitors. There are four factors contributing to the difficulty in setting price. The first one is the high rate of new product introductions. Buyers have to constantly reevaluate the price of new item relative to the value not existing products. Secondly, the increased availability of bargain price dealers has caused a downward pressure on price. Thirdly, inflations and recessions have created greater price sensitivity. And lastly, many firms try to maintain their large market share by cutting price. Next, we go to the pricing strategies for product mix. The first one is product line pricing. The definition of product line pricing is different price for different product in one category of product line. As example, single draw fitch, twin door and three door model. Secondly, optional product pricing which mean additional or optional product cost. As example, car. Manual spec car is different price with auto spec car. Thirdly, captive product pricing. Captive products are those must be used with the main products. As example, printer and ink cartridge. Next, by product pricing refers to the product with little or no value produced as a result of the main product. Producers will seek little or no profit other than the cost to cover storage and delivery. As example, chicken processors sell feeders to mattress and pillow makers. And the last one is product bundle pricing, which means several products are combined and the bundle is offered at a reduced price. As example, one full set blender is more cheaper than by single item only. There are several price adjustment strategies. Firstly is discount and allowance pricing. For example, cash discount, functional discount, seasonal discount and quantity discount. Secondly, discriminatory or segmented pricing. For example, customer segment pricing, product form pricing, location pricing, and time pricing. Thirdly, is psychological pricing. It is suggesting something about the product. Fourthly, is promotional pricing. For example, special event pricing, cash rebate, warranties and service contract, low interest financing, longer payment term and loss leader pricing next one is geographical pricing for example fob pricing customer pay the freight to their goods from the factory to the destination uniform delivery pricing zone pricing basing point pricing and freight absorption pricing lastly is international pricing different price set for different countries depending on the country's currency the three important C's model in pricing are costs, customers' demand, and competitors. Other factors affecting price settings are other marketing mix elements, quality, company pricing policy, government, suppliers, and distributors. There are four factors that force a seller to initiate price cuts, which are excess capacity, declining market share, drive to dominate the markets, and economic recession. There are also risks if seller is applying price cut strategy. Firstly is low quality trap. Consumers will assume that quality is low. Secondly, fragile market share trap. A low price buys market share, but not market loyalty. The same customers will shift to any lower price firm that comes along. Thirdly is shallow pocket strap, which is lower profit. Now, we discuss why firms initiate price up. Firstly is due to inflation. Inflation is a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. Secondly, anticipatory pricing is the practice of setting a somewhat higher price than would otherwise have been chosen in expectation of cost inflation, government price control, or similar environmental circumstances. Another one is over-demand. 
over demand occurs when the company can't supply product to all customer need. Then, the company increases its price. There are four types of price increase adjustment. Firstly is delayed quotation pricing. Price is not set until the product is finished or delivered. Secondly, escalator clauses. Customers will have to pay for any inflation increase before delivery. Thirdly, unbundling of goods and services. Lastly is reduction of discounts. We can simply increase price. Initiating price increase can be a greater challenge than initiating price cuts since it often leads to displaced customers. There are five guidelines to do this step, which are Be fair. Do not exploit customers' weaknesses. Do not violate the principle of grandfathering. Explain in simple terms why price have to be increased. Use indirect means and employ escalator clause in pricing. For example, a firm can inform to the customers in order to provide you better service by offering 24-7 live customer support, we will be raising our monthly subscription rates by 20% beginning in June. Suppose a company learns that a competitor just reduces its price and decides that this reduction will likely harm its sales and profits. But the company believes that this reduction will not lose too much market share so, they should wait and respond when their competitors change their price. After waiting too long, the competitors get stronger and more confident as its sales increase. The company should take some corrective action like reduce price to match with competitors, raise the perceived value of its offer, maintain its quality as it cuts price, launch a low price fighter brand. This is extremely necessary for every company because if the company lost its target segment being price sensitivity. However, before the firms respond to the price changes, there are several factors to be considered. Firstly is the stage of PLC or product life cycle of the product. Secondly is the importance of the product to the company's portfolio. Thirdly is to understand why competitors reduce price. Lastly is how buyers react to the competitor's price reduction. Bear in mind, price up and down is very sensitive to firm and buyers. Suitable strategies need to be taken to achieve win-win situation between these two interest parties.